So, vector graphic softwares are uh, used to create geometrical primitives such as points, lines, curves, and shapes or polygons, etc., which are all based on mathematical equations to represent images in computer graphics. I know <laughs> it sounds hard, but it's not that hard, believe me. You just have to click and drag to create object based upon mathematical equations. It's not like adding and separating things like in C or uh, other object oriented languages. And I know what else you would be thinking that uh, vector art is something uh, like uh, the pictures which you take from your digital cam. But they are not. Vector art is something different. They are not JPEG or bitmap images. Mostly when you take pictures from your webcam or digicam, you get the result images in JPEG or bitmap format. So vector art images are not bitmap images or JPEG images file. They are totally different. And also they have their own file extensions in which software they were created. Like uh, when you create a file in Corora, uh, they have extension these files have extensions of CDR which is the core draw format file extension but after creating these files you can publish these files in JPEG or bitmap format to send it to your friend if uh, he or she doesn't have core draw installed in his computer you can also view it in JPEG or bitmap format so if we still want to edit these JPEG or bitmap images which we have published or took those images from your cam. So to edit those kind of JPEG or bitmap images we use pixel based softwares. And uh, these pixel based softwares are uh, mainly uh, based on small pixels which you see on your screen. Uh, these JPEG and bitmap images are totally pixel based. These, uh, the lines you see or the, the faces you see in those pictures cannot be edited as you edit vector art. Okay, uh, and the most popular software used to edit bitmap uh, and JPEG images or other PNG and different formats, which I'll explain it later in your course. Uh, and don't worry, you will remember these formats as well. Uh, and Photoshop is the most commonly used software to edit bitmap images. And there are many more other softwares, no doubt, uh, but uh, Photoshop is the best one. And uh, with these, uh, these pixel-based softwares, you can do many more things, like making wallpapers. Mm and uh, changing brightness and contrast, dress change, dress designing, dress pattern making, makeup, makeup type of things. Most girls like those sorts of things to remove hair from their face and uh, remove uh, that black dots, etc. These kind of things. So we will be doing all of this, this in this course. Okay, and you can also make your hair long or do other sort of stuff, stuff like that. And the main question you will ask and you are going to ask what you will be covering in your course. So, it's very good. <laughs> and uh, uh, we will be covering all of the vector base and pixel base art. Okay. And uh, all the software mainly uh, commonly used. And if you find any other software, like uh, some people are uh, using software which are Japanese and Chinese software, which are not very common. So if you have done these software, which I will teach you, uh, you will be able to handle them as well. So don't worry. And uh, the softwares I chose uh, in this course are for vector base. I chose Corodra, top software, Adobe Illustrator, uh, and Freehand. These are vector based softwares and the top ones. Uh, and for the uh, pixel based softwares, I chose Adobe Photoshop CS2 and Corodra Photo Paint. And in the end, we will be doing uh, uh, some more stuff in Macromedia Flash. Uh, 
uh, when we will be able to create materials for it and sound editing and other sort of stuff in this course of Macromedia Flash. We will also be covering some parts of uh, action script of Macromedia Flash.